Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all problems worth solving. To Baldur's Gate, to the greatest friends I could dream of, to brains without worms and a good night's sleep, to the hope of more adventures to come. Adventures to come. Sure, we'll do number four. No, we're not replaying. This is the end. To you. So we're trying to get closure. Technical issues aside. Oh, look at all the achievements. It's just locked up. Now we get to watch the credits. Hey, Gray, welcome back. I hope we get closure. I'm honestly not... I don't know what to expect from stuff. Oh, and I get achievement blocked? Thank you. What? Oh, because you guys are in the game, so you don't get the... Oh, that's messed up, isn't it? That's right. You guys aren't getting achievements. <laughs> I know. It's critical to life. <laughs> <laughs> so is, this, is stuff supposed to happen after the credits roll? Does anybody know? You know no, I, I think there's so much open... Of, of, uh... Well, I think I heard that someone was uh, really pissed that there's no really tapestry of your actions like in Baldur's Gate 2. Oh. Hey, Mozart, welcome back. Yeah, I thought there were supposed to be scenes and stuff, too. This would like in the Pathfinder games, when you hear the music, the credits roll, you, you see little pictures and some text snippets right. explaining the, the faith of some people right. and cities. I mean, we talked to him in camp, but that wasn't very informative. <laughs> so. Anyway, we'll let it run and see I, what happens. I wonder what would be the oldest uh, save game you could use uh, pre this last save that we could join in. But, yeah, doesn't matter. They're just, a cra they're just crappy achievements. It was just, I think it was just three of them. Need some blob about the next patch being delayed. Yeah, I saw that, uh, was that earlier this week? I think something like that, whatever that means. Doesn't really affect us. The Steam News, yeah, I think that's where I saw it too. I try to check Steam News at least once a week. I usually forget, but I try to check it every week. What are you asking, Taco? <laughs> I don't recognize either one of those words, so what are you asking? So we're to speed through the credits? Respect undead guy. What about him? Withers? The young guy the undead guy's name is Withers. at least 10 to 12 minutes for all the credits shouldn't be yep uh they have i think six or eight studios around the world yeah spirit your baldur's gate 3 group one of the guys is a wild magic user he turned us all to cats during the null fight so he's an ally oh yeah uh wild magic sorcerers Oh, you thought Withers was Zaz Tam? I I have don't remember him being referred to anything other than Withers in this game.
could be wrong, but that's what I remember. So while we're waiting, Jeff, how did you feel about being turned into a mind flare? I don't know. I didn't really have a choice, I feel. So of course you had a choice. Kind of forced into well, it. No, you've had a choice. He, he started the dialogue. He couldn't do nothing. He, he had choices. He could have had the Emperor do his job. He didn't have to become a mind flayer. Yeah, yeah. but that would have... The entire Githyanki race would have been beholden to that lich deity of theirs rather than being the possibility of someone doing something about it, which was that dude. So, you know, there wasn't really much of a choice if I was being a good aligned character. Well, that's part of being good aligned, isn't it? You get ra railroaded into decisions. Yeah, maybe that was my mistake. I should have picked a good aligned character. Well, it, well, it depends because there's, there's different types of good, though. It's either, you know, there's lawful good, which you get railroaded into all your decisions. Then there's chaotic good, where you can say, screw you, I'm still going to be good, but I'm going to make my own decisions. That's, I mean, that, that benefit people, right? So. Yeah, but if I was playing the dwarf character correctly, I, I don't know very many chaotic good dwarves. No, you did it well, wrong. Well, except maybe berserkers. Hmm. I would say, as being a life healer, I'm saying I'm thinking lawful good was the the right choice there. So better a flare than a player, yes. <laughs> so so yeah, basically, the emperor was the emperor uh, was gone. There was only the Orpheus and him. One of them, or neither. I guess there would be. So Jeff becomes the Mind Slayer, Orpheus becomes a Mind Slayer, or we re both reject, have to fight, and then we face the brain just as humans? Would it be a winnable fight if it was an option? It would still have been winnable. I didn't think the fight was that tough. Yeah, the game would probably do like a dos uh, mechanic type thing and through some Mind Flayer. Like the, the dude that we were helping all along, maybe he would switch sides and help us like right at the end type thing or something like that. Double agent. Yeah. yeah. Skybird, if Cesarean had bitten the cleric, would he have become a vampire flare? Maybe. But yeah, I get a change of mind flare. Get thrown into jail. Yeah, it's great. And then gray armor. Chris Angel Mind Flare. What's his actual what was it's Chris Angel What was it what was it? Uh Mind something or other. What was it? What was the actual title to that, Gray? It's been such, such a long time since I've seen uh, that show. Mind Blower? Mine. Ugh. I don't remember it. That's that's. I remember it back in what the late early two thousands or something like that. Long time ago. Mind Freak. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I haven't looked at Mind Flyer page in a while, but I think yeah, you do get uh, different outputs depending on who you convert. I would think so. Because uh, Mr. Emperor wasn't too happy with our decision to uh, become a mind flayer. Oh, no, he didn't want us to, to release Orpheus. He wanted Orpheus to stay locked up. And that caused him to totally go against us, which is so against the storyline. <laughs> so. But yeah. Yeah, the studios. Barcelona, Dublin, Genf, Ghent, Guildford, Kuala Lumpur. Obviously, Flake intervened. We're back. Oh, that's right, because that's what all the different studios, it's for the, the localization for the different countries and stuff. That's why there's so many studios. Well, um, Vince Winkett, the boss of Larian, said it like this. Have the studios around the world, every time someone is working on the game, around the clock. And two studios are overlapping in time zones, so 
when the one closes down, the next one takes over, and so on. That doesn't make sense. Because a lot of these, some of these studios aren't are in the same time zone, and that only one on, one or two off, so that doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, what I remember: Barcelona, Dublin, Quebec, Ghent, Kuala Lumpur. Well, Barcelona and Dublin are only what? What? Maybe uh, they might even be on the same time zone there. No, wait a minute. No, they're one one apart. So that's not a big gap. And Quebec, of course, is what, five, three, five, five hours behind Dublin, or is it three? I forget. It's probably five. Five time zones? Uh, I don't think so. That's that the, the Atlantic isn't that big. Although I was I actually did the, uh, it was pretty big. oh, it's pretty big. It's it's only three thousand miles. That's 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 four time zones here for us. So. <laughs> So it could be five, but I don't think so. I think it's four from Quebec. Yeah, Quebec to to Dublin or London would be. I would I would think would only be four or five, four at most, based on the distance. Because Ontario, it's five. Okay. And we saw Japan. Yeah, and there's their Spanish. Hey, yeah. Ontario, Quebec, they're in the same time zone, aren't they? No. What? That's a pretty big area. I guess. It's not like the West, you know. <laughs> it's a, we only have we only have four time zones in North America here. It's Eastern, is it Central, Mountain, and, and Pacific? So it's only four time no. zones. There's a time zone for Newfoundland as well. Yeah, yeah, we have. Oh, that's right. There's farther. I, yeah, I forgot. Newfin Newfoundland goes a little bit farther east. So, okay, so there's six time for five time zones in North America. Actually, well, I don't know. Is Alaska considered? I don't know. Is it, is it Alaska? Yeah, and Hawaii. It's North America. Completely forget about Hawaii. Hawaii's not part of North America. It's not part of North America, so yeah. I guess it doesn't really count. Yeah, and Hawaii's I think three hours behind me. Yeah, looking at the world clock thing. Yeah, I think you're right. It's probably four hours. Because Dublin, that's right on UTC, isn't it? Yeah, as far as I know, it's the same time zone as London. So, yeah, so Eastern is minus four. Come on, clerk. <laughs> Uh, what is this? Uh... Stuff. So we're now we're getting on to the, the funny stuff. All the different... Uh, different languages. We're in the credits. It's unusual. It must be an hour of credits. Getting there. Is Hawaii the one with the British flag on it? Um, not that I'm aware of. I don't think any of the U.S. flags have the British flag on it. That would be heresy. Router connection so bad. Discord is pushing down to the lowest quality. Oh, really? How many times? I think Alaska is one time zone. The Aleutians Islands might have might be in a separate time zone, but I, as far as I know, the bulk of Alaska I think is in one time zone. I think they're they're the time zone to the west of us. I think they're one hour behind me. Who's talking Australia? Who 
Little Red Zombie Studios. One artist. Is it really necessary to give all these people credit? Did they really do that much work? Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they stretched the Alaska line around the bulk of it so the parts uh, where people uh, where people actually live is in one time zone. Yeah, which is logical. Hawaii has a British flag on it. Oh, we should kick them out then. Why should it be its own little country? And what should they do with that enormous naval base of theirs on it then from the Americans? Enormous? Pearl Harbor? Is Pearl Harbor really that big anymore? Well, maybe it's more a strategic location. Yeah, but that's what we have Guam for in the Philippines. We're good. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we also we still have Wake too, don't we? We got all kinds of naval bases. I tend to just ignore everything navy, so I really don't know. I know there's more bases in Hawaii more than Pearl, but everybody knows about Pearl Harbor. But the other ones, it's like it's like here in San Diego, we have more than one naval base. We have multi, We have many. We have many bases here. So. When does the next big bang happen? I'm going to go with probably 17 billion years away. Give or take a couple of billion. Really old ones are decommissioned? More than likely, I would think. I mean, you don't really need tons of uh, naval bases. Because we, we have plenty of them all over the place already. Japan also has a natural twin to Pearl Harbor. Oh, don't we have a base over in Okinawa and stuff like that, too? And like I said, we, we definitely have bases over in the uh, Philippines. Credits. Staging area. Okay. Hey, bring welcome back. Yeah, well, you might be useful in case Japan falls quickly to China, if that ever occurs. So, kind of well, something in between. And that's why it's we're in useful. South South uh, Korea too. Yeah, but you would think that would fall pretty quick. Probably. But we have Philippines. The Philippines, I'm sure, has got a base or two in it. Then we have Australia to the south. We really need stuff. I don't know. I don't think we have any military bases in Australia, do we? I don't think so. Oh, well, would, you're the Navy expert. I really I, I'm not the Navy expert. That's the, that's the thing. But I somehow don't think we should. I don't know. Do we have any bases no, in Australia? Australia have nothing. I don't Australia think so. Australia has their own. Well, I know they do, but that doesn't mean you don't have a base there. Would it be easier to list who wasn't involved in Baldur's Gate 3? Yes. They used to be a very long time ago in Perth. You're trying to think of all the different Navy bases we have just here on the West Coast in California. <laughs> There's a few. As and they're all under the is... Navy umbrella, or are the some of them under like Coast Guard and some other? Channels? Oh no, we're or talking Coast Guard part of the Navy. We're, I'm just talking naval bases. Coast Guard has usually 
there's, there's a Coast Guard station here over to by um, in downtown San Diego area, um, which is decent size. It's not huge, but uh, there's a like I said, there's a Coast Guard station there. Um, but as far as others, I don't know where the Coast Guard stations are. But as far as naval bases go, like I said, we have a minimum of three here in San Diego alone, and they're not tiny. <laughs> and then you just as you move up the coast, as soon as you hit Los Angeles, there's at least two or three up there too. And then San Francisco's got minimum of probably three. And then once you start going farther north into Oregon and Washington, there's bases there too. How well known they are is a different story. But I was actually born on a naval base on the eastern coast that nobody knows about because <laughs> it's top. It's supposed to be top secret thing. Yet I was born there. So was my brother. So you're born in a town with no name. Pretty much. Pretty much. And somebody wrote a song about you, then? Maybe. That was a horse. Oh. Yeah, well. the horse with no name. Yes. I technically don't exist. No. Technically don't exist. was really funny when Google Maps was a, a big thing, you know, when it first came out like 15, 20 years ago, wherever, whatever it was, is being able to look at stuff. And the first thing I go to is, where was I born? And find it, you know, it, it's a, it's all blacked out. <laughs> you can see it. it. They've changed it since then. And it's not blacked out anymore. It's kind of just blurred out. So, <laughs> but it was good. Making a little less obvious. Yep. 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 So it's not easy. To, it's not as easy to find. Or they'll just take an image and make it like a really old image and just superimpose it. Yep. So many little tricks they can do. And the whole debacle with GPS exercise trackers. Uh, what debacle? They still work. <laughs> oh, you can't bring, you can't use them on bases now. That's funny. Well, it kind of depends on the location. Oh, they work. Uh, they do their jobs as the issue. Well, you got like civilian GPS and you got military GPS, so it's. Yeah. It's to show the outline of buildings that don't exist. Ah, there you go. Because people walk around them. Because <laughs> they can't walk through them. Or they do walk through them and they still show up. Ah, technology. I told the story a while back where the the Navy got all pissed because of a camera we had up in the, the top of uh, Point Loma, which is a, a big mountain that leaves San, outside of that leads to the outside world from San Diego Bay. And there was a camera up there that ran 24 hours a day that was pointed at the mouth of the bay where all the Navy ships come in and out all day, where all the ships come out every day. And the Navy was throwing a fit because it caught some stuff it shouldn't have caught. And they hit, I think they actually forced them to take it down because of it. And it's like, it's so stupid because anybody can go up to that same exact spot where the camera is and just watch it all day if they really wanted to because it's pub it's technically a public space and they can't stop from being up there. So it's it's so dumb. Back soon, have to get a drink. Well, come back in a couple trillion years. We'll be done then. So what are we doing after this? The last step, if this ever finishes. And the only reason we're sleeping, yes, we're going to bed after this. Which is the last step? Uh, we haven't decided on which uh, campaign we did want to do. We have like four or five to choose from. So we're going to wait for the credits to finish first, or? I would like to. I'm just curious to see what happens at the end, if it's going to do a marvel on us or something. Yes, today is the credits stream. And if nothing happens at the end of this, I'm going to be highly disappointed. What's the key to fast forward? I don't know. Space doesn't do it. I guess I could click the X up there and see what happens. Shall I? Mm, no, because that'll probably just boot you. Yeah, I don't want to do that. 
I heard there were scenes. No idea if true. Yeah, that's the thing is I thought I heard rumors that there were scenes and stuff too. Because I thought they did a whole bunch of fixing, patching, you know, six months ago or whatever it was to to fix the end stuff. And if there's no end stuff to no. fix, I'm going to be a little upset. The whole camp scene where we talked to people wasn't there in the original release. Really? That's the whole campsite was not in. That's a new epilogue. The six months after thing came with the big second patch. So that's it then? That was it? I don't know. I have never finished the game or haven't seen a stream that ended the game. So for Celasta, are we doing the marshes or are we doing something else? Doing what? The marshes? Oh, I don't know. We'll have to take a look and see. Because, like I said, we have four or five to choose from. I'd like to do the one, the 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 op more open one, the one that we that's first on the list, the one that we were, they recommend. Well, maybe not recommend, but that's what got us looking at the the, the West Marshes of Celestia. Sounds like that sounds about right. Is that the one where you needed that specific other module? Thing you, you don't need it. That's that's just a. That's just a, a recommended thing if you want to go through all of it because it goes up to level twenty. Okay. So if we do that one, we we might be able to finish it, or it might be too difficult to finish. We don't know. Because again, we haven't cool. done that module before, so I don't really know. But we don't have to do it either. We can always uh, wait until we get uh, the unfinished business thing set up correctly. I don't know. I'm easy. I'm good with either. Yeah, I, it doesn't really matter to me too much. Wife mentioned must be close to the end. I would think so. Well, there's your mom, your sister, your family, and your son. But not say who it's from. From the team. This is every so words to their family. Everybody that we just saw their names is gonna put their thanks, so we got another fifteen minutes to go. Uh. Done yet? So soon. So soon. I'd like to thank the internet for crashing to go end this suffering. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't bad. It's a it's to help you uh brush up on your reading skills. Uh oh, music stopped. That's a bad sign. Now we go. But now we have back to normal music. There's too many wives mentioned here. I don't believe those are real people. Hot tub does not exist. It's a myth. The Bambi creamy. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Somebody better say, and to all the peasants who bought this game, thank you. That's what I should say. Boggy the dummy? That doesn't sound like a compliment. And mail me five bucks for watching the credits. I think they should, they should too. I'd be happy with five dollars. I don't know. What can you buy with five dollars anymore? Um, four dollars. A million dollars worth of stuff in Canada. Too soon. Too soon. Mm -hmm.
My dog Oliver, who helped find who helped final the game by begging for food in the kitchen and barking at playtesters. The ultimate troll, he knows why. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh Got a relative working there. Danny Baudelaire. Definitely a Frenchman. A French person. Or Canadian. I'd like to thank all the hookers this game paid for. Is that what it said? No? <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> I'm looking for it. <laughs> To all the ho the hookers and cocaine dealers that paid for that paid for my that set that kept me uh, well supplied during the making of this game. Well, water melons for five dollars. I don't know. I don't. Mrs. Gimpy gets watermelons all the time. I have to ask her how much she actually pays for them. Yes, Guy, but we're still going. We're at the, the thanking the family and friends things and hookers and drug dealers. Dogs. Sometimes cats. Mr. Dave, your frog has been sitting on my desk throughout the whole development. It kept reminding me that you and everyone else said blah, 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 blah. So there's a frog on your desk, the whole devil. Now, what happened to the poor frog is a real question. Just a list of names, no actual thank yous. <sighs> Wait, glaring guy, a coke addict? Yes, you don't know that? Pepsi and Mountain Dew don't get you through the day of game development. You gotta go over the hardcore stuff. Caffeine doesn't get you through. It's gotta be, gotta be real stimulants. So many Larian people, are there? Statistically guaranteed, at least one of them is a coke. <laughs> Just yes, and some, and one of them is probably a, a serial uh, serial murderer too, probably based on odds. There's this many people involved. In remembrance of, so these are the people who died during the making of this game. That's telling you something about that took too long. Hey, battle. Come back just in time to watch the credits. We've only been watching, I don't know, for how long. We're going to hit break time before uh, this finishes at this rate. And then we have the Baldurian babies. All the kids that were born and graduated from college before the making, before the game, making of the game ended. Yes, the death list and the death list. Oh, are we done? Legal stuff. I wonder if they had to hire like a separate company just to put the end credits together for I would think so. Can you imagine putting it together and then you go through all that list and you put it put it into quality assurance to make sure everything's there and you notice there's like two two typos. <laughs> but they don't tell you where they are. All the copyright stuff. 
then they got to do like the list of all their support animals and blah 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 forget about support animals they didn't even mention those oh maybe they sort of did I want to know what the ham the hamster they used that modeled uh, they modeled Boo after. That's important information there. The Anna Symphonic Orchestra are they the ones doing the music? I didn't even look to see what that was. Oh, and here's the legalese. Two point five million early access players. You for playing this game, supporting us, and sharing our love for classic RPGs. Where's my five dollars? My five dollars. Let me do it. Thou art the dead three. Thy faces, gods. Thy actions barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel, felled by mortals, I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin, away. Thou wilt trouble us no more. And now we're doing more loading. This is a good thing or a bad thing. Wonder what it's writing or what it's loading. That's it. So, was it worth the wait? Is it worth the wait? No. Yes, the skeleton man was talking to a wall. Hey, I think that was the tomb we found him in at the beginning of the game. I think there was a picture of the dead three on the wall. Could be. We should start it's over. So and, long. Yeah, we should. We should uh, start over and see if there's there's where the three he was talking to was in his little tomb. Anyway, cover them with more paint, withers. They definitely need another gloat. Yeah, it's another gloat. Anyway, so how do we feel about the game and overall? Yes, no, disappointed, great, sucked, best game ever. No opinions. It was okay. For me, it was a little anticlimactic, but I guess it was okay. Yeah, for the length, the choices, the production value, the end was. It was <laughs> well. It not over, not under. Break. Go check on the dogs. This mm. break supports the purchase of Rocket's treats. If you would like to help Rocket feel like a puppy again, Please visit gimpyneecom slash support or type exclamation point treats in chat or you can watch the ads during the break. Thank you. Your next break is in one hour. Okay, so at least the one cool part was is this basic little scene right here. We actually got to that point in the game because that's when we're fighting what's his face and whatever, right? The the ball. Yep. The ball temple. Yep, that's ball. Yeah, it's that thing. So we actually got to see this in the game. We actually came down those stairs. So that was kind of cool. But yeah. Skyward. Best game ever. 
Star Citizen enters full version in 35,267 years time. Maybe. I think you're being optimistic. It's a pretty solid game, says Taco. Eh. <laughs> it's got many issues. I mean, it's technology-wise, as far as, you know, all the branching storylines and stuff, that's just, you know, keeping everything straight there is, is impressive. But it's got some serious issues, too. The combat engine isn't nearly... I don't think it's nearly as good as Celasta's, which we'll be seeing here after break, um, or at least a portion of it. And now, Celast, but to be fair, Celasta's engine is not as complicated. It, but I think Celeste's engine tends to be a little bit more true to Dungeon, Dungeon Dragons 5 as far as the way combat works there. Better control. In this game, you don't have complete control over your stuff. Like, um, there's a lot of attacks that you do that trigger automatically based on, you know, whatever. Like your quick move or your quick actions and that kind of stuff. Some of them just trigger automatically. You have no control of them. Celeste, you do. So, the fly spell was horrible. <laughs> They, they they call this a three they calling the you know a three D you know engine for the combat and stuff. It's oh, not. Wait, it's not wait, really three D. No control over. Did you never switch your reactions to ask? Uh, some of them are were, but others no. But but no, even but even then, there's. And they don't even. But even if there are, even if that those things are in there, they never point them out. There's no real tutorial in this game. Right? Yeah, I, I yeah. pretty much found out some <laughs> stuff by watching a stream or testing a bit of stuff. And There's a little button you can right click and you can switch every reaction from automatically to ask. Right. Or Which is never. The, there, there's no tutorial in this game. Period. There's no tutorial. Yeah, yeah. So, Which is horrible. For a game that they spent so much money on and so much time, there's no tutorial <laughs> to do anything. So... <laughs> that's dumb. That that and that's that's one of my beefs with, with this game is there's no tutorial. The combat engine isn't nearly as robust as they want you to think it is, and you know it's it's and then there's the whole it's not really a Dungeons and Dragons game either. Yeah, too. That, that, so. that's the biggest gripe I have with the game: the different level and to see onto different levels to get on. You can't even zoom out enough, even with the oh the the over the bird bird eye view function to see mm. upper levels to get to them. You're right. Yeah, the, there's. It, it's not really a 3D engine, and what that would, if you, once we see the Celeste engine, you'll see what we mean. The Celeste engine is legitimately 3D, especially for abilities like fly. Flying here is just a way to get from point A to point B. There's no point 2.5 or you know a point one or a point five, whatever. Halfway between A and B, that doesn't exist in this game. In Celeste, it does. So, there's no being in mid-flight in right, the Skate. Right, right. And, and, yeah, there's no... you can, When you go flying, you just can't fly up in the air and just hover up there, right? It's just you move from the ground from one ground spot to another ground spot. In Celasta, you'll see, if if we have anybody that has the is able to fly, um, you'll see they'll be able to move up or down, depending on, on the map that we're on. And, you know, you can, you know, hover there for as long as fly lasts or at least some, unless somebody is able to pull you back down to the ground from one way or another so you know so as good as Baldur's Gate 3 is it's it's a good game I'm not saying it's not it's just that it it's missing some key points there that should be there and there's no excuse for them not to be there so but yeah it did break story continuity a couple of times yeah it's yeah. <laughs> and oh, we only um experienced maybe a little portion of the game different decisions the whole companion stories that are really good yeah i i'll debate you there all day on that one <laughs> i thought the command story well, was really different weak different qualities for different uh i say um, pace i found most of the companion stories very blah not very original they're just i mean it's like oh uh, we have the the unhappy evil cleric uh whatever the name Shadowheart who and, and before we get too far I don't blame the voice actors for the stories just to be clear the voice actors did amazing jobs for all the characters just to be clear I'm not criticizing them I'm criticizing the writers <laughs> so so just to be fair uh, make sure you know we don't get screwed up there because 
like I said, the voice acting in this game is really well done. And uh, the guy who does Asterion, he is probably the best of the group, which is, is a pre pretty high compliment because there's some really good voice actors in this game. They, did, they all did really good jobs. But to me, Asterion was the best of the group, um, just the way he did stuff. So The music is well done, although my main criticism for the music is it's incredibly repetitive. <laughs> it's... And once you've heard it, you know, the first hundred times, it's like, ugh, can we move on to something else? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's very repetitive. And not that that's necessarily a bad thing, except that when you have to listen, when it's a hundred hour game or a hundred hours plus, it gets old. It get, And then if you're on your second or third playthrough, it gets really old. So, you know, that's the thing. And, you know, but they, they did some cool stuff with it, so down by the river <laughs> yes down by the river is a common theme on the stream for some reason i don't know why but uh, mm -hmm. yeah anyway like i said there's there's plenty of criticism to the game but there's compliments too it's like i said it's it's good enough it's just if if it didn't have basically baldur's gate attached to it or dungeon of dragons i probably would have liked it more simply because i feel that the the whole baldur's gate thing is just a yeah, a, a, a weak pull to bring people in that probably wouldn't have played it otherwise, maybe. Because they want to go, oh, Baldur's Gate 3, I love 1 and 2. Let's see what 3 is like and come to f find out that 3 really isn't really connected to 2 or 1. Yes, there's some characters there, but the storyline really isn't connected there, like 1 and 2 are connected. So, yeah. Yes, I know my break. So, just want to get this out of the way so we don't have to do it again more hyped than this series of Game of Thrones. <laughs> why, why are you pulling Game of Thrones into this, Skybird? Just get out of curiosity. Why, why are you pulling Game of Thrones into this? <laughs> anyway. So, the start of this music is a hint that uh, it's time to take a break. So, so this will be it for Baldur's Gate 3 for a while. Uh, we may come back to it at some point in the future. Who knows? But I'm not really holding my breath. Even though... Was was the very end scene there after the credits a hint that they might be working on a 4 or something else? No. Because I think... Larian, they, Larian it, has said they are done with Baldur's Gate. Yes. That's Only what was, patches, updates. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Is Larian has already come out and said they're not doing a 4. So somebody might, somebody else might do it. But who would be able to follow us up? I have no idea. So, anyway. But we waited this long for a three anyway. We waited, what, almost 20 years for, for a three? So. What overhyped, overhyped, overhyped media, mediocre pieces of media? What are you talking about, Ryan? Anyway. Okay, so. Next patch, I think, has mod tools. Yeah, we actually were thinking about. There's a there's a like a a, a roguelike uh, mod for this game. Uh, we were we considered doing it, but uh, it got bumped for going back to Slasta. <laughs> so I think we're done for Baldur's Gate three for a while. And having said that, when we get back from break, we'll be going to play some more Slasta. We've got some uh, got about uh, three or four. Uh, campaigns to choose from that are built by you know fans of the game because uh, the the makers of Slaster had the insight enough to put a dungeon maker into their game so that the people can actually create their own campaigns and that kind of stuff right from the game. So good good call on them. Okay, so gonna get up, stretch your legs, get your water. When we come back, we'll be playing some Slast stuff. So thank you all very much for watching. Of course, thank you to everybody who's come out and watched Baldur's Gate 3 stuff. We are finally done. <sighs> anyway, be back shortly. Enjoy the dog video. Oh, sorry. And forget and for, almost forgot. Thank you, Jeff Hobo and Hurricane, for going through 100 plus hours of playing this. So, But now we get to go back to Slast and play 100 more hours of that, maybe. Anyway, be back soon. Enjoy the dog video.